Okay, well here we go with episode three of uh, you know my vlog, which is called now Keep It 100. Keep it 100. This market at the moment is probably quite challenging for a lot of agents. Dealing with one client today, they actually broke down. She had a deal, it fell over with finance, with a buyer. Winning is probably going to be three things. First off, there is no room for emotion. Your vendors are emotional, your buyers are emotional. The last thing that they need, a buyer and a seller, is you to be emotional. Secondly, you've got to have the listings in this marketplace today. And then the third thing you've really got to be considering is the mindset right now. You know, your self-talk in this market when it's tough. Whatever you're saying to yourself, you've got to start being optimistic and you've got to say to yourself like, this is the best market to be working in, okay? That will change your attitude. Your attitude changes your physiology. As your physiology and your attitude change, guess what happens to your results? You get a whole lot better results. Anyway, I'm about to bounce. I'm gonna be doing a little 10 minute talk to finish today. I think it's around 5.30. Uh, wish me luck. I'll catch you on the other side of uh, this episode. You don't have to be sober around me. You know Matt LaHood? Matt LaHood. Yeah, yeah, hey Michael, how are you mate? Good to see you. How you been, Will? Yeah, well, That's alright. 15, 13 and nine, uh, 10. So there you go. Up, so I'm doing, a, that's Avalon oh, nice. Pool. So I'm doing a winter challenge, 5, 17, AM. Yeah. Trying to jump in the water every day during winter. Okay. So I always try and do something that's going to challenge me. Yeah. Because when you play it safe, you can easily, you start to get in life playing it safe, like this is working, this is nice, everything's okay. And I think until you keep pushing yourself, you'll never try and get your true potential out. So. You know what? I still get nervous every time I'm going to do a talk if it's in front of two people or in front of 4,000. It's probably a good thing, a healthy thing, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming tonight. I know everyone's so busy. We have three great speakers tonight. Coaching from Claudio Encina, who I've worked very closely with for quite a while. My name's Claudio Encina. Firstly, super excited that you invited me here along tonight. You know, when Naomi asked, first asked me a little bit about coming here tonight and share with you 10 to 15 minutes, a little bit about coaching, I suppose it's going to be a bit of speed coaching. Nothing like speed dating, but <laughs> I suppose there's been a lot of change just not in the real estate industry, but just I feel like in a lot of industries right now, there's disruption, there are things that are happening. I suppose the biggest competition, no matter what business you're in, it's really about the consumer experience. And I think you need to look at your businesses today and as you go into the new financial year, is what are you doing to create that consumer experience? Because there are probably three markets. First thing is you need to identify for yourself where exactly do you sit in the marketplace? in whatever industry you're in. In this marketplace, think about today, how you can be the authority and setting yourself up in that space. So when, for example, my business, real estate coaching is what I predominantly do all the time. I want people to include me when they think of, I need a real estate coach. So as you become in your business, as you go into a new financial year, is how do you start to really look at yourself and position yourself as the authority in that space. I work with a lot of people, especially real estate officers and agents, as you know, and I, I tell you this, they get stuck in their current reality trap. So they're like making the same sort of, you know, gross commission income year on year. They might earn, I don't know, half a million this year, next year it's like 450, the year after that it's 525, and they seem to get caught up in that bubble of the current reality trap, never tending to grow. Most people won't go back and reflect on their business and have a look at like what's working, what's not working, what do we need to start doing and what do we need to stop doing, right? And here's the thing, current reality trap, last three years, one five, the year before that he wrote one two, the year before that it was 1.1. So he hasn't really expanded anymore. But when I started looking at his business and we started to break down where his business is coming from, it's been past clients, referrals, networks. That was traditionally where his business was coming from but he had gaps in his business, like social media. Like he was getting no, no business from that. Facebook ad leads, like it's probably the cheapest thing right now than where you could actually start putting posts up, sponsoring them or do a Facebook ad lead. So getting traffic into your website, getting con um, you know, people's names and numbers, etc., getting some really good data, okay? Which he hadn't touched on. So as we draw closer to the end of the financial year, do a bit of a, sort of, you know, a self check on your business. Have a look where all your businesses come from this year. I know I do it. And see where are the breakthroughs for you for next year? And as a rule of thumb, I would actually say to you like, try and grow 30% year on year. 
One thing is progress, just making it grow each year on year. You don't want to feel like you're getting stuck and it's like, here we go, Grand Hog Day, we're earning the same money the year on year. To come through for the last 12 months, look for the breakthroughs in your business, and then actually start to create a plan and a strategy of how you can actually make your next 12 months your best year ever. Thank you guys, nice to meet you all. Keep it 100 for another day. Look forward to seeing you in our next episode. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Share it if you like it. Press the like button and we'll catch you on the other side on episode number four. Keep it 100.